Divesting gone wrong. Adana Esimenu is the definition of putting lipstick on a pig. <laughs> okay, let's go to our next lady here. Hi, my name's Adana, and I popped my balloon because I just feel like maybe you're the type of guy that I would see in passing, just say hello, and that's it, and keep it moving. But you do have a cool, you know, energy about you. And um, in, in addition, you just said you like shorter women. I'm, I'm on the taller spectrum. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. And how are you feeling her? You're not really my type. That's um, right. Uh, you are pretty, you carry yourself, you know, I look at beauty in so many different ways. You carry yourself very well. I like your outfit. Uh, it's just not something like if I saw her, we were going out, I would be like, can you change? You know what I mean? I, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that I'm not into that type of, you know, different caliber, different. Yeah. yeah. You know, I like artsy women, women that like art and different type okay. of things like that. Expense. <laughs> you can be artsy, artsy and expensive at the same oh, time. I Trust say, me. I didn't say expensive. Oh, I thought you said, I'm sorry. I thought you said you expensive. Told yourself. Yeah. <laughs> You told yourself. No, I thought that's what you said. Don't sorry. Don't be sorry. <laughs> All right, thank you. Expensive is good, though. Oh, All right. <laughs> okay, let's go on over to our next lady. Your name and why you popped. My name's Adonna. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired. And oh, don't, 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 don't laugh. It's very serious. And like sleepy. And I was thinking like an extra in Friday. And I thought like. Extra on Friday? The film, like, like Big Smokey and like. What, which Chris, character? Like an extra. An extra on Friday. Yeah, I was like. That's how I'm looking. <laughs> yeah. Um. She's trying to go viral, that's why. That's no, I'm not. I'm not trying to go viral. Yeah, I'm just like, I, I think I'm fed up because like every guy pretty much that came out, they're not dressed properly. And I'm like, I feel like this is really rude and disrespectful. And I'm just like, what, what's the point? So I'm just, it's not, I'm not trying to go viral whatsoever. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Well, how you want your man to dress? How presentable, respectful. What is presentable to you? Presentable, I mean, maybe a collared shirt and slats or something, dress shoe. Uh -huh. um, maybe like the lip not hanging. <laughs> It's not funny. You said his, his lip is hanging? Like, I can't do it. My lip was hanging like, like, I don't know how to do it. But. That's it. I was going to let you have it, but I'll let you live. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's on the so, wrong show. Yeah. There are no white men on this show. <laughs> is that your type? No, because I've had white men ask me, do you like white men? And I get so offended by that. Mm -hmm. It's like, so you're telling me you're you're all white men are the same mm. or um and then I've, I've been offended when i've heard black women say to someone do you like black women it's like i would never say that because i am my own person yeah. i'm not going to say just because i'm black and uh, do you like black women so that's all i have to go on mm. please <laughs> no thank you <laughs> next question right <laughs> now she said white men aren't her type and then she gave the typical divester mating call to soften the blow she tried to throw other black women under the bus to protect white men i wonder why no black man stands a chance oh. If you black, nothing for you But if you're white, there's something for you In the world, white is white, but black is wrong If you're black, nothing for you If you're white, there's plenty for you Desperate things on the prowl In search of a white man she claims she's so bad yet here she is asking a white man for Zex and then asking him for a vial of his children to have a mixed baby. I thought white men weren't her type. P.S. Men are normally the hunters so why would she have to ask a man for Zex? Darcy Adana Asimono has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were so here's some of the details. We had one plain sex encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together and oh, only on the wrong show. Yeah. there are no white men on this show <laughs> is that your type no because i've had white men ask me do you like white men and i get so offended by that because mm -hmm. it's like so you're telling me you're you're all white men are the same mm. or um and then I've, I've been offended when i've heard black women say to someone do you like black women it's like i would never say that because i am my own person yeah. i'm not going to say just because i'm black and uh, do you like black women so that's all i have to go on mm -hmm. please <laughs> no thank you <laughs> next question right <laughs> That Pop the Balloon interview was done April 2024. She slept with Trevor Bauer in 2021 and has been trying to extort him ever since. Why was she on a black show if behind the scenes she was trying to get with white men? Hmm, are white men not feeling weavy wonder? Video that I called Rejected Men. And she 
this person asked me, do you think race had anything to do with it? So this is what I this is what I said. Well, whoever can read if they want to, but because I there's various levels to um, how I'm perceived in the world, I believe that I'm I was forced to see the different nuances of how people um, how people want to treat me and how they project their their narrative onto me and an example the different levels because i am attractive i'm supposed to be stupid and or um stuck up and then because i am non-white there are the those stereotypes that um society wants to attach onto me so i'm supposed to be i'm supposed to have these st certain stereotypes i'm supposed to be aggressive and or unattractive i'm supposed to um be hyper well, hyper hyper something like that um there's like these different narratives so the person that asked me do i think race had anything to do with how my comment i said a lot of white guys that i've come across they are violent and they are very entitled however this is how i see it if i were to be um let's say like okay let's say that there were to be a white woman in an area where there's majority of black men black men may see her as an easy target because they are projecting a sense of she must be insecure because she's the only white person here and she therefore she might be desperate and therefore she might not understand how we are so it'll be easier to get what i want out of her and that's how i see it um sometimes i feel like i i've seen white men who are these are losers i'm talking about i'm not talking about all white men in general are this is how anyway race is not even a real thing it's something that men created and you know where we're anyway so i have seen it where white men will be more they seem more respectful when they approach a white woman than when they approach me they'll come at me sideways and then if i if i'm not with the the okie doke then they will become they turn violent. i have spoke to women who are non-white and you know it all it happens to women all the time where a guy gets rejected and they become they yell but i've had the it's so intense where it's not just verbal it'll become physical and i'm out in public and there's a lot of bystanders and no one wants to stand up and do something about it this is what I call the divester babble better explained as the divester fantasy. Listen, the divester always got a story about how pretty they are, how desirable they are, white women are jealous and white men want the divester at all cost. Let's listen to Trevor again and see who asked for Zex. John Asimono has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were, so here's some of the details. We had one plane encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterward, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. So the divester DM'd him for Zex, and he just called it plain. In other words, it was a quick nut because he was bored and had nothing else to do. She begged and begged only to get indicted for fraud. No wonder why she went on a black show. She was looking for protection. The divester tried to be slick, but the subscribers caught it. Divesting gone wrong. Listen to this song. Like hunters searching for meat White meat, there's babes are in heat It doesn't matter where he comes from As long as he's white and has lots of money He could be young or old It really doesn't matter As long as he's white and available There's babes are desperate for a whitey, no black man stands a chance. Oh. If you're black, nothing for you. But if you're white, there's something for you. In the world, white is white, but black is wrong. If you're black, nothing for you. If you're white, there's plenty for you. Desperate babes on the prowl in search of a white man. The white man, white man, the white man, the white man. In search of a whitey, mm. a whitey, whitey, a whitey, whitey. Uh, some of them are desperate, ooh, so desperate, just to hook a whitey <laughs> to marry. It could be English, American, even Indian, 
or a nation Just as long as his skin is white It's okay and he has lots of money, money, money Some of them will, will still will destroy just to get